Hello, Bournemouth fans. Hope you're doing well this Thursday afternoon. And it's been a busy news day for AFC Bournemouth. Well, it seems to be anyway. This is the news that came out from Mark McAdam a bit earlier on from Sky Sports. Bournemouth have agreed terms with Preston North End's Ben Pearson. The midfielder is expected on the South Coast in the next 24 hours to complete a medical and finalise the deal. Pearson has played nine championship games this season. So, who is Ben Pearson? What's he all about? Well, Bournemouth fans who uh, watched that 3-2 loss earlier uh, this season against the Lily Whites will, I'm sure, know all about him, as will this person here. We've got Jack Goodwin, who's been on our channel before, Preston commentator and freelance sports journalist. Jack, how are you? I'm all right, thanks, Sam. How are you? Yes, very well, thank you. Very well. We've also got uh, Cherries fan Morgan Scott with us as well. Morgan, how's it going? Yeah, happy Thursday. And also, we've got Tom Jordan here as well. Tom, how are you? All good, Sam. All good. Excellent stuff. So then, Jack, first and foremost, it's been a busy news day for you because uh, not only the Ben Pearson news has broke today, but also the Lee Whites have made a signing. Is that right? Yeah, we've re-signed, well, re-signed Greg Cunningham on a loan deal after three years after we sold him to Cardiff City. We've got him on a loan from Cardiff City and uh, his contract runs out in the summer so hopefully if he does a good job because I think left back is where we've struggled uh, to replace Cunningham since we sold him we can replace him with himself as well so uh, yeah if, if it works out all right and he remains on the pitch without picking up injuries because during his spells with Cardiff and Blackburn he picked up a lot of injuries uh, if he can if he can stay on the pitch then I suspect that he will sign on in the summer as well so it's a really good signing. So, Ben Pearson then, obviously Cherries fans watching want to find out a little bit more about him. Can you give us fans watching a little bit of insight into the player that is due to be joining Bournemouth in the next 24 hours? Well, I genuinely think that you're signing a top-class player. Um, I'm, I'm sure if you've seen any uh, of the responses from the Preston North End fans, we all love him. He's a, he's a brilliant, brilliant player. Um, he's, he's a defensive midfielder, ball winner, but he's also quite calm on the balls, which will help... Uh, playing at a, a higher level in terms of if you do go up to the Premier League and uh, controlling the ball and being a bit composed. So I, th I think you're signing a top player. Um, in the summer, I did a bit of a tournament knockout where we had fans vote uh, for Preston Open's greatest player of the cent uh, century, decade. Yeah. And uh, Ben Pearson was in the top four. He made it to the semi-finals. He was with uh, Graham Alexander, Paul Gallagher, Ricardo Fulter. Um, so, yeah, I, th I think you're signing a top, top player and I, th I think North End fans will wish him well. So, I mean, Preston are six points off the playoffs at the moment. How are Preston fans feeling? Is this, um, I mean, for us, it's a statement of intent, but does it feel like the other way around for you guys? Uh, I wouldn't say so. Um, we've offered him a big deal, uh, by all accounts. We've offered him Ben Davis, Daniel Johnson, Alan Brown, uh, all big deals because uh, they're all running out this summer. Alan Brown signed. Looks like Johnson will probably sign. Um, but I think uh, I, I'm kind of relieved that we're going to get some money for him. We should be getting a lot more. We should be getting about 10 million. But we're going to get some money for him, hopefully, um, yeah. which is good for the club, um, which obviously you need all the money coming in. Uh, but we, we've gone and bought Ben Whiteman in the window. He's not a like-for-like -like replacement, but... From what we've seen so far from him, he's a top class player as well. So, um, we I think we're gonna we it was inevitable that Pearson was gonna move on at some point. Yeah, I mean, I'm just looking at the type of player he is, and you said, yeah, he's tough tackling, he's very you know combative. In July 2019, he he did an interview. Well, his mum did an interview with the BBC talking about his on on field disciplinary problems. 14 bookings. Three sendings off, and apparently she stopped watching him play because of it. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. She came out and said that she she was uh, embarrassed that he was because uh, he was picking up petulant bookings, which probably held him back from picking up a, a, a higher move earlier on. But he sorted that out. I think he's only maybe had one yellow this year, and I don't think he got to ten last year. So he's he's uh, he's, he's definitely sorted out his disciplinary issues, and he he admitted himself that he didn't need to improve it. Yeah, so um, I'll ask uh, Tom what his opinion is shortly. But obviously, you may be aware that uh, we, of course, signed Jack Wilshire recently. And you'll probably know of the likes of Jefferson Lerma and Lewis Cook from the Premier League days. Um, 
how's he going to fit in to this Bournemouth side? I mean, you said he's a defensive midfielder, is that right? Yeah, yeah. So I suspect that uh, obviously you've replaced, well, you, it looks like Dan Gosling is going to go out mm. on loan uh, to Nottingham Forest. So I suspect that you're going to you're bringing in like a younger version of Gosling. Um, I, you've played a couple of formations this year, haven't you? It was, you mostly played about, is it a 3-4-3 three, three, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, so he's, he's probably going to be the holder midfielder maybe alongside Jefferson Lerma or, or Lewis Cook. Um, I, I might be a sub for, uh, coming in straight away because you've got some big names in that midfield. But um, you've not, well, from what I, obviously you will know more, but I've, I don't think you've really got that with Gosling going now, that tough tackling midfielder to come in. You've got a lot of pretty midfielders, yeah. but maybe not a Ben Pearson type who can come in and maybe protect the defence behind him. Yeah, Tom, do you reckon Jack sums that up nicely in terms of our midfield at the moment? He adds that bit of bite that we need. And what do you remember of him from that 3-2 uh, defeat at Dean Court earlier this season? Yeah, well, that game stands out um, because I think we can all agree we thought Preston were absolutely brilliant on the day and I can't believe where they are on the league table off that performance. Um, but he he ran the game. I thought he was excellent. So, uh, yeah, really excited about him. And, and yeah, I think it will strengthen the squad. And like Jack says, I think he'll probably you know, slowly come in. Um, obviously, we're all a bit worried with Jefferson Lerma has got a potential ban looming over and they're investigating a, a biting incident which which might rule him out for a little bit so it's nice that we can have Pearson to come straight into that role but yeah whether he whether he starts or where we're going to fit him in you know just adding more quality to the squad and uh, that's a real statement of intent and obviously we've managed to say the right things to him in terms of he thinks it's a big step up I mean really Preston are a bigger football club than us and they're a good side um, so it doesn't look like the biggest step up in the world. But obviously, Jason sold in that, you know, we're obviously where we're trying to aim for. Um, and he obviously wants to be a part of that. So, yeah, really exciting. And uh, I think he'll kind of implement every all the other players that we've got around him really well. Um, he'll break the play up and allow people like Lewis Cook, Jack Wilshere to, to roam free and get on the ball. So, um, yeah, really exciting one. We put out a tweet earlier, Jack, which was very tongue-in-cheek from uh, one of the Preston fans' reaction, saying he would two-foot his nan if he had to. He seems to be that type of player. Now, the reaction is um, one of great loss from, from what I can see. Um, are Preston fans reeling from this, or was it something that was always expected, really? I think it was expected. Um, when you've got a player who's got his contract running out with six months left, I think it's the same with... Ben Davis, which you'd be pretty good with, I wouldn't be surprised if you go in and sign him as well now that uh, <laughs> Pearson's going. Um, but yeah, I think I think we're resigned to, with those four that are out of contract, at least two of them leaving. Uh, and thankfully we signed on Alan Brown, who's probably uh, a proper pressing off end player, uh, probably not got that quality to play higher up. Um, and, and Daniel Johnson looks like he'll sign on as well, who had a great game against you. So. I think, yeah, we're, we're, we're resigned to it. We're expecting it. And uh, I hope that if he does sign here, he, uh, you go up because I want to see him in the front. Brilliant. Well, Jack, uh, you know, best wishes in your next fixture away at Sheffield Wednesday. That's at the weekend. How can people follow you on Twitter? Uh, well, I don't actually know. I think it's uh, at Jack Goodwin 2001. I think it's at 2001. 2001. Really appreciate your insight. Thank you so much for coming on and all the best for the rest of the season. Thank you very much. Nice one. Cheers, Jack. Thank you very much. And Morgan Scott, you've been patiently waiting uh, by to say what you've got to say. What are your thoughts on what's been, well, for you, we all know it's been a pretty decent week so far. Steve Cook ring, rings, Bournemouth get through to a glamour tie against Burnley. <laughs> and then the news today that uh, we've made another signing. It's um, It's been a good week. It's been a very, very, very good week. And uh, if we get the three points tomorrow night, I think that's the icing on the cake this week. Um, I think, uh, just to come in on what you guys were saying there, Dan Goss, um, they, Jack mentioned Goss, they might be going. Um, I can com uh, Chris Temple, I don't know if you can find the tweet, Sam, but um, confirmed in the last uh, hour or so um, that he will be staying because the 30-year-old wants to get us back to the Premier League, apparently, and that's what Chris Temple put on social media within the last hour. Wow. So that... Um, that uh, I, I respect that from Gosling. Um, he, uh, I, I don't think he's gonna start every. You know, he's not gonna be in the contention to start every single game. But if we're, you know, we're on this cut run at the moment, he might get bought in for that. Uh, sat, uh, we were talking off air earlier. Sam, you said February. We got like eight games. And what's that? Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, two games a week. We're gonna need a squad of players. 
uh, rotation is going to be key. Um, also, we've got Jack Wilshire. So it's looking very, very good as an AFC Bournemouth fan right now. And it's good to have something to be positive about after a very, maybe not the best run of games, to say the least. So, yeah, really looking forward to what we can achieve. And hopefully we'll push on with this squad of players. And this is the tweet that you allude to. Chris Temple understands that Cherry's midfield, Dan Gosling, has turned down that move, wanting to help Cherries in their fight to bounce back to the Premier League. And, Tom, it's, um, it's a very interesting time to be a Bournemouth fan because, yeah, of late, our form hasn't been great. At the start of the season, Max put out that statement, a statement of intent that he's committed to getting AFC Bournemouth back to the Premier League. And at the first part of the season, we, we didn't really see that in terms of any signings, but the team held their own and we have we haven't been outside the top what three or four places, albeit now we're you know we're sat in sixth. But this seems to be now a statement of intent. Signing Jack Wilshire, who I'm I'm sure's not cheap. And now we've got a new signing by the way of Ben Pearson as well. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely exciting, it's positive and yeah, I wonder if at the start of the season, you know, you looked at our squad, um, keeping the likes of, of Brooksy and people like that as well probably didn't feel like we needed a lot. I certainly didn't. Um, but, you know, credit to Max, because Jason's obviously gone to him in this window and said, I could do with a little bit. Um, I could do with I could do with adding a little bit. Wilsh has been, you know, training with us, doing really well. Um, and I, you know, there's Ben Pearson that could be available because that contract, so we might be able to get a good deal um, in that sense. And um, I'd really like to add him. And Max has gone, yeah, I'll back your Jace to go and get the job done. So that's really good. You know, he's obviously supporting the gaffer, so we've got to do the same. He's given him all the... The armory now to go and go and do it you know i just want to see we we've, we've all known we've got the quality just want to see that te- in in tempo and in bravery do you know what i mean kind of not going out to games and uh just expecting us to to have too much which happened a lot at the start of the season i think teams come with game plans and we've got to go out there and go you know what let's be brave because we've got better players than we've got let's go out there let's attack them and uh yeah because we've, we've got the quality now so it's, it's exciting and um in terms of Gosling, I think I'd love, I'd love to say um, that's amazing. He just wants to get us to the Premier League. One legend. Probably think Nottingham Forest couldn't match his wages, personally, because he's how far down the pecking order he is with us. Um, you would have thought he'd get a better chance in Nottingham Forest. So I'm, I'm guessing they probably couldn't match it. But having said that, Dan Gosling in and around the squad, like Morgan said, little cut runs and that, it's important to have a squad. So um, and I certainly don't care about having Gosling around the training pitch and in the changing room. He's experienced... Yeah. He's not someone who's going to throw up a fuss. He'll just put a shift in when you need him. So, I don't. Yeah, I'm more than happy with with God sticking around for sure. Uh, Morgan, say if you're Josh King, there's been rumours of bids from West Ham. I think 15 million was was flying about, 16 million, etc. You know, you want to play Premier League football, and ch- you know, people call him want away. We don't know whether that's the case or not, but surely he's looking at the signings that we're making, and Jack Wilshire and being linked with others now we've signed ben pearson that is a statement of intent maybe he's thinking actually this is an exciting place to be i actually think (coughs) we've got a chance now i think i uh, I think that's a really interesting point and i think um i think our squad's looking i I, before the season started i would say our squad was already very 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 strong we were never going to find out what was going to happen we were thinking would josh king go david brooks but I think it's very exciting. And I sit here now, we're end of February, and uh, um, end of January, sorry. And I'm mm-hmm. thinking, we have a very, very good group of players to, to achieve still winning that league. Now, I know it's going to take a lot of fight and determination, but I think we've got the experience of Jack Wilshire. Josh Kin going to obviously he he played very. I don't know what you boys thought, but the other night I thought he was very very good. I know okay it was only in the FA Cup. I thought he was fighting. I thought his head was in the game. I thought he looked good. I thought he was sharp. Yes, okay he could have had a hat trick, but it's very very exciting. And I think tomorrow night Jason Tindall got a bit of a headache on who he's going to start. You got Arnie. You got Josh Kin as I mentioned yeah. then. Um, you got. A good squad of players, so many more knocking on the table. Carter Vickers, um, Tom, I saw a tweet from you just before I came on to do this with you guys. Um, Meps is like, where Mepham? He's back from injury, nowhere to be seen at the moment because of our defensive run. It's just exciting and we've got so many options and, and it's good because we're going to need this group of players to get us back to where we want to be. But Tom, 
it's a hell of a job for Tyndall, though, isn't it, to get all these players um, you know, firing? Because you know, when you've got more personnel to concentrate on, it's a harder job to gel them together. So this is where Jason Tyndall's really going to earn his crust, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And I think what I've liked about Jason was from the start of the season, he made it clear that we want to bounce straight back. So he's putting that pressure on himself. Um, I, I believe he, cut, he he knows that we've got the players, and he would admit that if we don't if we don't get uh, attain our goals this season, then he's he's failed. So it's a big job for him. What I like is is it's all right having all the you know the good footballers, the quality, the the pretty technical footballers. You need a bit of di- desire and fight, which we saw Derby have against us in the yeah. last uh, one of the last games. And Ben Pearson seems like that type of character from what we've heard from Preston fans and what I've seen of him. Jack Wilshire is certainly the type of character who shows a lot of fight and desire and things like that. So um, we've got to get a good mix and I think we're getting that. Um, and in terms of in terms of Josh King, what you mentioned there, I, um, I've said to you before, I think that it's it's quite easy for Josh. Just um, work your socks off, um, try and play well, try and score some goals. And at the end of the season, you'll be with Bournemouth for in the Premier League so you can stay. Or because you've done well and helped Bournemouth get to the Premier League, you'll have a queue of clubs for you anyway, mate. So yeah. just just put a shift in. I mean, the first thing he's got to do is try and get in that team because we've got a hell of a squad. And if I named our, if, if Bournemouth fans named their best eleven, you could name a second eleven that weren't in that eleven that should also get in the top six yeah. in the Championship. That's how strong the squad is. I mean, we're talking about now with these midfielders, people like Goslin and Billin and Sam Surridge, they'll struggle to get on the subs bench if everyone's fit. Oh. I mean, that's just madness. And Stanislas looks like he's come back quicker. Stacey's come back quicker than we thought. Um, we've got, yeah, like I say, Mepham as well. Hell of a squad. And it's all about, like you say, with all these games coming up, rotating them well, managing it well, but also not making too many changes and losing that momentum. So really key for Jason and uh, getting the system right, I'm sure as well. But oh. let's just up the tempo. Let's be braver and let's show that quality we've got because um, we can go on a run in this league. And we've seen this this week. I think Watford have dropped points, Borough have dropped points, Swansea yeah. and Brentford drew with each other. No one's going to go, you know what I mean? It, it can swing so quickly. We can win a few games on the bounce and suddenly we're favourites for top two again. So let's try and be that team that gets the run together. We're certainly capable. Yeah. And, you know, with the talent that we got, it, I wouldn't say it's criminal because it's almost putting the pressure on JT quite a bit. But, you know, with that squad, we should be pushing. So, you know, the squad have really got to show their mettle. And uh, Morgan, yeah, you're about to say something in there. Uh, yeah, so um, it's been confirmed today that uh, Jackson will be going, um, has signed a pre-season, uh, well, a contract uh, uh, for the end of the season and he will go to Ranger. As apparently, um, the video has been published on Back of the Net. I had the um, opportunity over the first lockdown um, to speak to Jackson and, and uh, it was a very detailed 45-minute interview with him and um, I'm sure... Um, I speak for myself, Tom and Sam, that we will wish him all the best yeah. for his further career at Ranger. I think um, he, he's known that he's never going to be maybe in contention to be at the top of this game, like at start most of the games at Bournemouth. But I think uh, we all wish him well and uh, hopefully um, he'll kick on and he'll get a very good career ahead of him. So I wish him all the best on that one. And uh, just to all add in there, uh, I think uh, there have been rumours about Phil Billen as well, potentially going out. Mm. and also Ooh. Nandy off the ball. So uh, just to throw that into the mix. Yeah, well, uh, transfer deadline day closes on Monday and uh, Monday 11pm. So whether I'm going to be donning the yellow tie or me and, discuss, uh, me and Tom discussed whether I should do a red or black one. I don't know. We may be behind a desk. We might do something. Who knows? Just but... a final point, just before we close, if that's OK. Also, um, Graham Jones, I'd just like to get maybe Tom's reaction. Um, Graham Jones, he joined us in August. Which I thought, you know, okay, that um, he, uh, Bournemouth did change a few things around. You know, we still got Perchy, Jason Tindall, and stuff, um, who the club know very, very well. Um, is this a bit of a surprise, Tom, to yourself that Graham Jones has gone to Newcastle so far into only just arriving last August? Or do you think it's beneficial um, that we make this change soon rather than later? I don't know. Um, it's difficult to know kind of what he's what he's implemented behind the scenes and things like that. I think the fact of the matter is his CV speaks for himself. Um, he's, he's been at a lot of big clubs, uh, had some big jobs, and he's obviously you know really respected in terms of a coach. Um, I know it didn't work out for him when he took a management job at Luton, but fact of the matter is he's he's got a decent CV. And Newcastle ain't ain't no mugs. They're they're a big football club. They ain't gonna just take any anyone. Um, but I think from Graham Jones' point of view, it sounds like he's a 
a lifelong Newcastle fan, so he jumped at the opportunity and we obviously allowed him to do that. I think at the start of the season, Jason probably thought, you know what, I need to know he's from the outside. I've got all these people I've worked with when I was assistant for years and years. I could do with someone from the outside to come in to have a different view on it. Whether it's worked or not, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. It'll be interesting to see if we notice any big changes without him there. But I think the fact of the matter is, Jason still had the final say on things. Um, it'll just be interesting if we bring someone else in or we just step up, say, Sean Cooper to that role. That'd be interesting. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm not neither here nor there. We haven't exactly built a relationship up with Graham Jones, have we? Um, seems like, I mean, Newcastle are one of the teams linked with Billing as well. I think they want everyone. I wouldn't be surprised if they go for Eddie next. But um, <laughs> They better yeah, not nick you. Know, we might be in a better league than Graham Jones next season. Who knows? Oh, yeah. You never know. You never know. And uh, the match on Friday will have uh, some say towards that. We, of course, travel to the Majetsky Stadium. Look at that. Fifth versus sixth. Absolute crunch game. Our form, not as good as Reading's. Can we upset the apple car? Is that, is that what we're doing? Because that's what it seems like based on our current form. Really interesting, but great to have Jack Wilshire available and, of course, the signing of Ben Pearson as well um, to boost the squad. Fantastic. And some reaction from the Preston fans that have replied to some of our tweets. Uh, Balders says, proper midfielder. His vision of the game is amazing. Improved his discipline and he will be greatly missed at Preston North End. And many people are saying the same thing. It sounds like we've got an absolute player and I'm sure it's going to be revealed officially with the with the video and the um, holding the shirt up in, in front of the stand and all that usual stuff they do. Looking forward to it, as are we, the Reading game tomorrow. Craig Beasley's video is on this channel. Click the card at the top if you want to watch that. He's interviewing his brother who's an artist and an illustrator and a Reading fan. So it'd be really interesting to see uh, what he's got to say, some inter-family rivalries there, I'm absolutely sure. Hopefully, will be the victorious side at uh, full time. It's live on Sky tomorrow. Should be an interesting one. Morgan, thanks very much for coming on. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks very much. Teej, nice one, as ever. Up cherries. Up the cherries. See you in the next one. <laughs>